final round of qualifying, but he certainly made it to victory lane here at Daytona, and this is how it came down. Last lap, nice big push, and nice use of air by the young man. Takes it around Keselowski and crosses first. Yeah, that's just a perfect move of how you use the draft and getting yourself positioned right at the end of the race, and, and that's what it is. Anything can happen uh, from that point in time, and that was a great win. Mike is with him. And uh, I'm sure you saw smiles. You, you were all smiles watching that. By the way, you couldn't hear it, but a Hall of Famer, Dale Jarrett, just said that was a perfect move by you in the draft to win that race. How much confidence do you have coming here knowing you know how to win? Uh, well, I mean, it's it's hard to duplicate, but it definitely takes the pressure off getting uh, one of these restricted play wins. You know, it's such a you know chess game out there, positioning yourself all race long. So thanks, Dale. I know I remember as a kid watching and, and watching you get it done. So, uh, you know, he was one of the guys that I felt like, you know, when I showed up to play race and I kind of understood it because I... I watched, um, you know, every play race growing up, uh, you know what I mean, and watched pretty much every race I could, but, you know, I just I've always felt like I understood, um, you know, how to work the draft, uh, side drafting, you know, and how to, you know, just really manipulate the best I could, but, I mean, really, it's it's about what kind of race car your guys give you, and, uh, you know, I mean, that, that holds true for every track, but especially at the play track, so, uh, Roush Fenway gives me a, a fast Lily Diabetes ADA Ford Mustang. Uh, every time we come to these plate tracks, so it's uh, it's pretty exciting, you know. And this week we have a group of Marines, you know, and thanks to Comcast for helping us put that deal together. Uh, it, it's just a really special weekend, and it would mean so much to uh, get another win, get my second win uh, at Daytona. I'll get it anywhere. I'm not picky, but you know, Daytona would be cool. Yeah, you would take it here for sure. You know, I'm curious. Uh, folks who know your story know that you're a diabetic and you have to manage the disease. With it being as hot as it is here in Daytona, 90 degrees, probably who knows how hot it'll actually be in that race car. How do you manage the, the diabetes and the heat at the same time? It, it definitely gets tougher on a hot day like this. So uh, between, you know, the fatigue that goes on, uh, you know, the heat definitely dehydrates you. Um, and the adrenaline, my blood sugar usually goes up throughout the race. So, uh, you know, most of my most of my preparation is before I ever get in the race car. You know, what, what I do uh, to maintain my blood sugar and manage my diabetes is all done mostly before. Uh, there's some safety measures inside the race car drinks that are high in glucose. Uh, I have a monitor that I put on my dash uh, that uh, relays my, uh, my blood sugar. It's called Dexcom. Uh, so it's just uh, a, a lot of work, you know what I mean? But it, it's so rewarding to be able to go out there uh, and, and, and live my dream, you know what I mean? Despite having diabetes, I was told I'd never drive a race car again. So anytime I get to strap in there, it's a huge blessing, and I definitely don't take it for granted. He's definitely driving a race car tonight, Kelly. He rolls off 14th.